Hey folks, Valentin the Mad here, and today we'll be looking at the destruction in the regiments. So, gotta say, I did not approach this one with particularly high expectations, just because of the scale of the game. I was still interested in it, I knew destruction is going to be a factor, and I was curious to which degree. While there are no flashy physics, there are some issues, but I was still hugely impressed by several features I saw, so let's get right into it and have a look at what's there. As for the building destruction, my first surprise was you will see response at the point of impact. I mentioned the scale, so I was fully expecting a clean and destroyed stating, and when I saw parts of buildings get chewed up where they were hit, I was very, very impressed. It looks especially cool with metal structures, the shoot up edges there work very well. Another really cool and fairly uncommon detail is debris spawned around the destroyed section. As you can see, there is a hole in the wall and debris below it. Simple texture in this case, but what most games do is remove a section of the building, spawn some physical bits that vanish in 30 seconds, and so in the long term the surroundings will be clean. That isn't the case here. When there is more destruction happening, you will see a pile with some concrete tracks instead of just a texture. As you can see though, it has some limitations. The obvious one, there are no interiors. And buildings generally seem to be mostly decorative, probably provide some stats boost, but I've seen units go through them, shoot through them. Those are a scale thing, it is understandable, but of course you will very much see it. What is an issue, however, is that for some buildings the response will be just painting it at and around the point of impact. At best, maybe some parts can get chewed up, but the rest just gets a darker color. Now the additional objects you have scattered around actually work very similar to the building destruction. So a mind-blown moment for me was when I saw a shell hit the ground, ricochet, take out a chunk of a truck and go on its merry way. You don't have that kind of thing anywhere really, so massively, massively impressed. But just like with buildings, you also have objects that can mainly get painted. In addition to those responses, you also see objects get flattened, both when they are ran over by a tank and due to bombing. Sometimes it works very well, at other times not so much. As for terrain and vegetation, the response is rather simple. What you have is the ground get a darker color at the point of impact, and grass growing there will get removed. So, there is no terrain deformation, there is no even crater decal, but this system does have one very major plus to it. All of the damage, and that includes the other types as well, is permanent. Wherever there was combat, you will be seeing damaged ground, every single vehicle rack, damaged and destroyed buildings, and so on. So, there's definitely a trade-off on detail for the sake of the aftermath, but personally, I really don't mind. Now, as for vegetation, there is one very notable issue, the biggest one in the whole destruction aspect actually, and that is, trees, many bushes, at least in the preview version that I'm playing, don't show any damage whatsoever. So, you will often have just a total mess of destroyed buildings, wrecked vehicles, but the vegetation around it is growing like nothing happened at all. Forest engagements will really not have much of a visual impact or much of an aftermath. Of all things, in destruction this is by far the biggest issue and I really hope it will be fixed. Deforestation is a part of combat, yes some cover will be lost, but that is just how it is. Now onto the vehicle damage, it's very simple. While it is operational, the damage will be a dot overlay, kind of like the bullet impact decals in Arma 3. And when it explodes, for the most part, the visual damage will just be a burned overlay. In some cases, I have seen the tank towers come off. The main visual difference will be the explosion on the fatal hit and you do have some variety there.
As for the helicopters, the aftermath is not great. You have most of it turned into a generic rubble with a few parts sticking out. Maybe it could work for a very high speed crash, but as a default option it doesn't quite look right. The plane crashes are pretty cool though. You see it catch fire, some parts will fall off and there will be some bits of debris at the spot where it fell. Could be a little messier, but otherwise I think it is pretty nice. And as I mentioned, all of those are permanent. The only things I've seen vanish are dead soldiers and those bits of debris that spawn on the explosion, they disappear in 4 minutes. Another factor is configurability, with things like damage multipliers, range multipliers and so on. Usually you get this kind of tweaks with various realism mods and here you can change them directly in the menu which I do appreciate. In conclusion, on one hand, there is definitely some sacrifice in detail for the scale and the aftermath, it will be quite notable with the terrain damage. On the other hand, you have some very impressive features I was honestly not expecting at all, the kind of stuff you barely see anywhere. The result, for the most part, will be quite good. You will get some very nice aftermaths, especially if you zoom out and look at a field full of damaged terrain and vehicle wrecks. And as I mentioned, where there was combat, there will be damage. That is one you can't take for granted. But there is an issue that sticks out like a sore thumb and that is the indestructible vegetation. As I mentioned, in my view I think that's the biggest one in the destruction aspect. Now playing it, I had a few thoughts for an ultra destruction setting, things that are by no means a must but would definitely make a notable difference. So simple interiors, kind of in a style of Bad Company 2, empty rooms, maybe with a wallpaper to make them feel less bland, just something there would make a huge difference. And couldn't help but think, what if on the final hit on a vehicle, if it was done by a tank shell or a rocket, you would see the chewing feature, a hole appear at the point of impact. Not sure if it's doable on something that isn't aesthetic object or perhaps the performance cost would be way too high just with the amount of vehicles, but man, that would be so cool. Either way, as I said, Unlike deforestation, those are by no means a must. Overall, I enjoyed the game quite a lot and I will be doing follow up videos should we get improvements to destruction. So that is it for today, do let me know how I feel in the comment section and if you enjoyed the video, subscribe and share it around. And consider supporting the channel on Patreon, for a dollar a month you get these videos a week early, you get the interviews a week early and you help out the channel, so a big thank you to all the Patreon members and consider joining as well. Also, if you like the music you hear in the intro, outro and in the background, the YouTube and Spotify playlists are in the description. Until next time!